There are a lot of interesting buildings around the world, unique skyscrapers designed to put a city on the map and boost tourism. But there is one skyscraper in New York that has been around since 1974, and to this day no one knows much about it. Unofficially known as the Long Lines Building, from 1974 to 1999, it served as a gargantuan telephone switchboard for AT&T's long distance service. In its prime, it used to direct around 175 million calls per day. What makes this building so unique is its fortress-like appearance, and apart from a couple of ventilation openings on the sides, the building's bare concrete slab facade does not have a single window. The building looks like a fortress because it was built like one. It was constructed in 1974 during the Cold War period and was designed to withstand a nuclear blast and protect the occupants from nuclear fallout. While the building may look intimidating, it could be the safest place to be in the event of a nuclear attack. There's reportedly enough food, water and generator fuel to sustain 1500 people for two weeks. It has been a site of mystery to New Yorkers for many years because of a lack of information available about its purpose or operations. All that was really known was that it was one of the most secure buildings in America. It kind of reminds me of the hero headquarters in the anime cartoon One Punch Man, which is designed like a bunker to withstand an attack and stay standing. It also was in the form of a skyscraper with no windows. The only real features on this windowless brick building are the massive air vents on its top floors and midsection. The vents kept the air circulating, preventing machinery from overheating. The building is very sensitive to sun and temperature. That is why it has those big vents, so you can regulate the temperature. It's like a big air conditioner. The building's exterior makes it less susceptible to terrorism or weather-related incidents, and without windows, the temperature inside the building is easy to maintain. There are many conspiracy theories about what goes on inside this building, but since cameras and the public are not allowed inside, they are not easy to confirm. However, in November 2016, The Intercept published an exclusive report based on documents leaked by the whistleblower Edward Snowden, which provided compelling evidence that the National Security Agency, better known as the NSA, has been using the skyscraper as a covert surveillance and electronic spying center used to tap into phone calls and internet data. But like I said, there is no way of knowing for sure. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.